Hi everyone, happy Monday. My name is Megan and it is time for another episode of Mad History Monday. Every Monday I research an interesting story that happened in history and then I talk about it. I'm about to dive into the most controversial topic in America. What is this? Or this? Or this? What do you call it? Is it a pop? Is it a soda? Is it a Coke? Yes, we are about to dig in deep to find out what the correct term for this carbonated, sugary, fizzy drink is. Now, I'm from Minnesota. I call this pop. I think it's the right word. But I am going to let go of all of my biases, look at the facts and the history to try and find out which name comes out on top. In 1767, before the United States even existed, a man named Joseph Priestley invented carbonated water when he discovered a way to combine water with carbon dioxide. Separate of this, in 1771, a man named Torburn Bergman invented another process that was similar to Joseph Priestley's. He had poor health and wanted to invent a naturally effervescent mineral spring water because many civilizations at the time thought that this could cure diseases. Schweppes tonic water began in 1783 by Jacob Schwepp and it's considered the world's original soft drink. Now, in the early 1800s, Benjamin Silliman was the first person to mass-produce carbonated water and sell it in soda fountains, and he is still credited for making it popular in America. So different ways of creating carbonated water were coming out at this time, and it was becoming very popular. The term soda water dates all the way back to 1798, and the word soft drink derives from it. When soda water was first being sold to the public, it was primarily through pharmacists. It wasn't until 1835 that the first bottled soda water was produced in the United States, and many pharmacies started selling them partly for their medicinal purposes, but also partly because they were refreshing. And this is when soda counters became popular and they were put into pharmacies. They kind of look like bars. Later on, pharmacists started mixing drugs like caffeine and cocaine together to treat people with headaches. And then they started adding them to these carbonated beverages to help them taste better. This was eventually frowned upon because people thought it to be too habit-forming. Sweeteners started to appear in soda water sometime in the early 1800s, but it is unsure who first started doing this. Even before that, starting in the 18th century, it was really popular to mix wine and soda water together to create a refreshing, bubbly wine. I still do that. So there was a lot of inventing and playing around with flavors happening. And in 1851, ginger ale was created in Ireland. Sometime in the 1860s, the word pop is said to have been coined in the United States. The word pop was on bottles from a store called Mel's in 1868. However, Fago, the Detroit-based soft drink company, says that it was the first one to market soda as pop because of the sound the lid made when it popped off the bottle. Some have different theories about how the word pop came about in the United States, and they believe that it started even sooner than that. Some believe that because some old bottles used to have marbles in them, and you would have to slam the marble into the bottle in order to drink the pop, that this is how the word pop came about because of the sound that the marble made when you push it into the bottle. I bought one of these Ramoon drinks, and I've had it before, but this is the only bottle that I could find that still has the marble in top that you have to smash in. And it's actually kind of fun. So I'll demonstrate it. So the top looks like this. And you peel this off. And it comes with this little piece like this. And there's a little marble on top. This is the marble. This little piece sits on top of the bottle. And then... As you can see, there's this little circle. You have to push down on it really, really hard. I don't know if I can do it. I usually can't. Okay. I have to stand up. I can't get it. 
Hey, can you come here for a sec? I'm gonna call in for backup. I need help. Please? This is so embarrassing. My thumb is so sore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. You should have just said, I'm on the toilet. I would have stopped yelling. And I need you to hold it right here and open it. <laughs> I can't get it open. I've been trying for five minutes. You I'm doing. Why you can't get it open? What am I doing wrong? You have to, this needs to come out. <gasps> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. This comes out of here. Wow. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it now. Maybe. What if I still can't get it open? <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! Oh gosh! I got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. There's instructions on there, isn't there? There's instructions. You can read those. And it's actually kind of fun. There's the marble. Can you see it? Does that help? I can't tell. ASMR. Anyway, you heard the pop. So that's where they think the word pop came from was because of the noise that the marble made when it went in the bottle. The bottles back then probably didn't look exactly like this, but I'm assuming something similar. The term did catch on in the 1800s and it was prominently in northern states like Minnesota and Wisconsin. And it still reigns supreme in those two states. Moving on. Root beer came on the market in 1876 and the first cola flavored drink didn't come out until 1881. In 1885, Charles Alderton invented Dr. Pepper in Waco, Texas. Just one year later in 1886, Dr. John S. Pemberton created Coca-Cola in Atlanta, Georgia. He combined the cola nut from Africa and cocaine from South America to create the iconic taste. What a time to be alive. <laughs> The term Coke derived from this and it became the generic term for sugary carbonated beverages in the South because Coca-Cola was the first widely popularized soft drink in the United States and it was from the South. So many people just started calling any soft drink Coke in the Southern regions of the United States. So this is a Coke, this is a Coke, this is a Coke. Would this be a Coke? After that, other popular brand names that we know today, like Pepsi Cola, were introduced to the United States. And so by 1900, soft drinks were very popular. There were almost 3,000 soft drink plants in the United States at this time. And during this time, the temperance movement emerged in the United States and alcohol was bad. Bars were no good, but soft drinks, the alternative to alcohol, was considered wholesome and respectable. This was the time to be a pharmacist, not a bar owner. Another fun fact, soft drinks were called soft in contrast to hard alcoholic beverages. The soft drink industry boomed. Methods of production and manufacturing improved, and transportation and efficient delivery vehicles came about. The entire population of the United States could get their hands on this product. Soda fountains were popular, there were pot machines all over the place, restaurants started selling soft drinks, and so on and so forth. And now, today, they are everywhere. We buy them from fast food restaurants. We buy them at the grocery store. We buy them in bottles. We buy them in packs. When we go to a restaurant, most people order some sort of pop. Diet pop came out in the 1900s, and it did become pretty popular, and it still is pretty popular to this day, but they really just replace sugar with chemicals, so... There are also some other names used to describe these carbonated drinks. Some refer to them still simply as soft drinks, especially in parts of Louisiana and North Carolina. Others use the term Coca-Cola in some small pockets of the Deep South. And the term tonic is still used in some parts of Boston, particularly with the elder population, but that term is slowly dying off. Now, after gathering all of this information, let's analyze it and see which term comes out on top. Coke. Coca-Cola was created in 1886 and the term Coke became a shortened name for it. Even if it is not Coca-Cola brand, it still may be referred to as a Coke. 
Coke is the preferred term in most of the South. The term Coke comes in at 14.6% of the population. Pop. The term pop was coined in the 1860s and is preferred by people in the Midwest, the West, and parts of Alaska. Pop comes in at 39.3% of the population. Soda. The words soda water dates back to 1798, and pharmacists began selling soda water in their pharmacies, where it was common to find soda counters installed. Soda is the popular term of the Northeast, California, most of Florida, parts of Alaska, and pockets of the Midwest. Soda comes in at 40.9%. It is so unbelievably close, and it breaks my heart, but soda takes the win on this one. It was the first term out of all three to be used in history, and from the data, it is 1.6% ahead of the term pop. Coke saying people, you lose, but you do you. Side note, yes, this does not add up to 100% because I did not use the other terms category, which makes up for the rest of it. There is a website that did a massive survey of who said what and where they lived. You can submit your own response on this website and I will leave the link in the description box down below. They have an awesome map that you can go look at and see where in the United States people say pop, where people say coke, and where people say soda, and then they also show the other terms category on that map as well, so feel free to check that out. And why not submit your own response? More people just need to contribute to the map and then pop will be the winner. But for right now, soda is the most popular term used for the sweetened carbonated beverage that we drink in the United States. Do you have a different term that you use to describe this carbonated beverage? If so, leave it in the comment section down below. I would love to see. And also, why not? Let me know if you say pop, soda, or coke. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely learned a lot, but I don't think it changed me enough to start saying soda. It will always be pop for me. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you again next Monday. Bye!